from you guys this is going to be the final video on uh, numerical differentiation I decided to add this video just to show how you would use these methods um, using a table because that can sometimes throw people off but it's quite simple okay so um, like I said before numerical methods are used when we might have a difficult function or we might be given data from let's say a lab or we've just been given a set of values let's say t so the time in seconds and let's say x is in meters so if we all we know about this data right now we don't know what its actual function is so we can't actually find the derivative all we know is that at t equals 0 uh, at t equals 0 0.52 and at t equals 1.04 we've got values of 154 186 and 204 so all we know is that these points through here we don't actually know what the function looks like the function could very easily be a curve that goes straight through them it could be sinusoidal as long as it goes through all the points or it could even be a very strange graph that no one really knows about but we don't know so what we have to do is we have to use a numerical method Okay, so let's say we want to find the velocity. Um, okay, so let's give this a scenario quickly. So let's say that this uh, data represents um, the distance that a vehicle has traveled on a racetrack. The starting line is there. There's a starting line, here's the car. This is our x, and we know that at time equals zero, it is, this we can say is the back the racetrack it is 154 meters and as the time goes on the vehicle is traveling that way okay so let's say we want to know the velocity at t equals 0 0.52 okay so we also know just assuming constant acceleration we can say that speed equals distance over time and we know that the distance is given in x over t, okay? But we don't want to just simply take um, the x value um, 186 over 0 0.52 because that's probably not going to give us the correct value. So we'd rather use a numerical method and we are going to use the central difference because it will uh, give us the order 2 accuracy, which we want. Okay, so the central difference, we have f dash of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x minus h over 2h. Okay, so now the real question is, what are these values? So we know that x is our time in this case. So uh, we know that the time we're looking for, so we let x equal... Um, time at 0 0.52 and now we need to figure out our h okay and if we look here the step size between here is 0 0.52 the step size on the next one is 0 0.52 and the step size on the next one is 0 0.52 so we can say that h is equal to 0 0.52 okay so now it's just a simple question of plugging into the equation so we have f of x plus h, which is f of 1 comma 0, 4, minus f of uh, x minus h, which is 0, over 2 times h. Okay, so now we just need to find f of 1 comma 0, 4, which is that value right there, f of 0, which is that value right there. And then if we plug it in, what we get is we have 204 minus 154 divided by 2 times 0, 0,52 and the answer we're left with is 48, 0.07692308 <coughs> meters per second. Okay, so that's as simple as that and that's, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope using tables isn't so scary. Yeah, thanks guys.